This video is all about how to supercharge the results you're getting from any kind of energy healing or focus prayer. And all the content here is designed to be useful to you no matter what system or process or modality or group or teacher you're working with. Designed to be totally generic. Hi, I am Brett Michael Phillips. I am the founder and creator of the Awakening Dynamic System of Energy Healing and Higher Consciousness. And I have spent the last 20 years of my life applying all of my background in science and engineering to figure this stuff out, to crack the code. And I've got it. And I'm here to share with you on YouTube. And today, this video is going to focus on the number one most important thing you need to add to your process to have results. And of course, we got a whole series here, right? We've talked about permission. We've talked about exchange. We've talked about commanding. We got more videos later in the series about how to do group healings, how to walk through the process of sending unconditional love. Lots of cool stuff, right? But for today, we're going to focus on what may be the number one most important thing you need to add. And it's the witness. And you're like, hey, Brent, what are you talking about? This isn't a murder trial. Why do I need a witness, right? Well, here's, here's what I mean that when you use a typical process or technique, you're going through some series of steps, right? So maybe you're using a more traditional prayer. So you go to church and get down on your knees and clasp your hands and put your head down and think, oh God, please give me this thing or don't do this other thing, right? Whatever it is. So that's okay, but you'll notice there's no witness. There's no witness. So nothing happens. Or maybe you've learned energy healing, right? And you've learned, okay, my teacher told me if I think this and imagine that and think these words in my head and wiggle my nose or whatever, then it will, it will help someone heal. All right, nothing wrong with any of that, right? The trouble is there's no witness. And if there's no witness, nothing happens. It's probably the surest way to crash your energy healing, your prayer for no results. Even more powerful than no exchange or no permission. The witness is probably number one. Now, Unless you've studied with me or you really know energy healing and consciousness, you're probably thinking, Brent, what the heck do you even mean by witness? Let me lay it out for you. Step by step. I want to be crystal clear here. What I mean by witness is you having an experience of somehow imagining or projecting yourself into the desired outcome. That's what it is. So as an example, let's say that you want a million dollars. Okay. Nothing wrong with that, right? I wouldn't mind an extra million dollars, right? No problem. So you go and you get down on your knees. You're like, oh, please, God, give me a million dollars. And then you go back to your life. And what's going to happen? Probably nothing. Why? There's no witness. You're not done. Or maybe you're more of a new ager and prayer isn't your thing. So you've learned a mantra, right? And you go and you say your mantra a thousand times. I have a million dollars. I have a million dollars or whatever it is, right? Again, not a bad thing but there's no witness. So how might you witness that? Well, it's actually pretty easy. Here's what you need to know about witnessing. It doesn't matter how you witness. It doesn't even matter what you witness. What matters is that you witness. So let me give an example. Let's say you want to manifest a million dollars. All right, cool. What's one of the ways to massively increasing your chances of success? Well, add in a witness, right? So you learned manifesting process A from some training you took or a download on the internet or whatever, right? Maybe a YouTube video. And you're like, oh, please, God, give me a million dollars. Okay. Now witness it. How do you do that? Simple. Imagine yourself getting the million dollars. Maybe you imagine yourself opening your mailbox and taking out a check and, oh, my God, there it is, a million dollar check made out to me. That's a valid way to witness, right? Or maybe you imagine going and showing your husband you know, running inside, hey, honey, look what we got, and holding up the million dollar check, and your husband's like, oh my gosh, this is the best, right? That's all we're looking for, people. That's all it takes to witness. And again, it does not matter how you witness, it does not matter what you witness. What matters is that you witness. So before we finish this video, I want to give you a few more tips on how to come up with good witnesses as well as a couple of witnesses you can start using right now with whatever system process modality you're using. Sound good? Awesome. Before we go there, though, I want to ask a couple things. First, very quickly, hit like, hit subscribe. 
It really does matter to people like me. It really does. If you enjoy this video, you want to get more of them, you want to get notified, click the little bell. Won't cost you nothing, right? If you like this, if you found it enjoyable, if it gave some value to you, if you learned something, please share it. Again, won't cost you nothing. But it will bring you tons of good karma. One of the absolute best things you can do to create good karma for yourself is sharing valuable things with others. It's really simple. So go ahead, create some good karma for yourself right now. You'll be glad you did later. Awesome. Second thing I want to ask is, what system or modality are you using right now? Let me know in the comments. I promise I won't make fun of you. I'm always curious what people are learning and into and how it works. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Just let me know what system or teacher or modality or process are you using for the energy healing, the prayer, whatever it is you're here about. Awesome. Cool. So let's talk a little more about the witness. So a couple tips for the witness. First thing is witnessing gets much easier when you understand your own intuitive wiring. And long story short, we all have different intuitive personalities the same way we have different body types, right? Some people are really big and strong, can lift heavy weights, right? Other people are really fast of foot. Other people may be really agile or flexible. Other people may, you know, have whatever, right? So we all have different bodies with different strengths and weaknesses. Intuitively, we're the same. There are different primary intuitive senses. And I'm not going to get too much into that here. I have a whole nother great series called Ignite Your Intuition that is all about that. How to find your own primary sense and how to develop it. But just know that everyone has a primary intuitive sense. And one of the easiest ways for you to get a more powerful witness is to cater your witness to your most powerful intuitive sense. So as an example, if you are a very visual person, imagine a visual witness like a flash of light. That is really all it takes. And for some of you watching this right now, that may be the only missing piece. The only thing between your prayer, energy healing, and amazing results may be that. If you are a more auditory person, you might imagine hearing a sound or a tone. Why? If you're wired to be auditory, that will be easier for you. So if you're doing a healing on someone, you may imagine a sound or a tone that represents their healing. That's good enough. Again, that might be the only thing sitting between you and getting amazing results from doing energy healing and prayer. Now, other people are more kinesthetic. It's also very common. So if you're more kinesthetic, if that's your primary sense, you might imagine feeling something in your own body, right? So if you're doing a healing on your buddy who has a headache, you might imagine your head being tense and in pain and then all of it letting go. That would be an example of a kinesthetic witness. So you'll notice all these witnesses are pretty easy, aren't they? They are. This is not a hard thing, people. It's a very simple thing, but it's so critical. So you can always use a flash of light if you like a visual witness, and that will always work. It really is good enough. You can imagine hearing a sound or a tone if you are prefer an auditory witness, or you can imagine feeling a sensation in your body if you prefer a kinesthetic witness. And if you have no idea which one you are, try all three. See which one you like. Keep using that one, right? Nothing wrong with that. So last thing I want to talk about in this video is why. Up to this point, it's all been about what, right? What do we need to know? Well, you need to know there's a witness, right? You need to imagine experiencing this thing you're asking for in some way, right? So if you want to witness buying a Ferrari, then imagine yourself taking the keys, putting it in, turning it over the engine, and driving off down the street, right? If you want to witness your beautiful vacation on Maui, easy. Just imagine yourself sitting on the beach, right, with your little drink with the umbrella in it, watching the waves and the shore. That's all it is, people. So it's very simple. And the witness doesn't have to exactly match what you're doing. You can be doing a healing on someone with cancer and imagine the flash of light. That's what I meant earlier when I said it doesn't matter what you witness or how you witness. What matters is that you witness. So the last piece is why. So why witness? Why is this such a big deal? It's simple. This is quantum physics. This is the observer effect. Now for those of you that have been fans of my channel, if you've been to any of my online intensives, I walk through this step by step. I lead you through the exact process by which we come to these conclusions based on first principles. Really simple things, right? 
Um, that takes about an hour. I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to call out the highlights. What quantum physics has shown us beyond any doubt is the observer of a system imparts energy into that system and disturbs it. So therefore, it is impossible to witness something without imparting energy into it or disturbing the system. And so if we never witness something, it never comes into reality. It sits in what's called a probability function, right? It'd be like if you took two regular dice and rolled them, but covered it up so you didn't see the result. What is the result? You don't know till you look at it, right? So that's what the witnessing is. And until the result of something is witnessed by a conscious intelligent being, it cannot happen. It's crazy, but this is a law of the universe. You cannot make that million dollars until you have imagined it first. You cannot help your grandmother heal from cancer until you have imagined it first. And the witness is how we create the reality of it in our mind that acts like a template that the, the divine projects through to make it happen in physicality. In other words, you get the idea first in your mind, you use the technique or process, and the divine then runs with it and makes it real for you. But it's interesting, until it's witnessed, nothing happens. Until someone listens, does the tree in the forest make a sound? Well, it both does and does not with probability. Again, this is quantum physics. This is brain twisting stuff. Hard to get your head around. I get that, right? You don't need to know this to be a great healer. All you need to do is start witnessing. But there is very powerful reasons written into the laws of physics why this has to be the case. And if you'd like to learn more, I do have a weekend intensive. If you want to learn the absolute most advanced, most powerful, easiest to use healing technology available anywhere on the planet, check it out. And there's a little link down in the description. I would love to blow your mind and give you more spiritual advancement in three days than you can get anywhere else on the planet in 10 to 20 years. That's my promise to you. So if you're interested, check it out. The link is in the description. Until then, I'm going to be cranking out awesome new videos. If you like what you saw, again, comment, click like, click subscribe, share it with your friends. If there's something you'd like to see me cover in future videos, put that here too. I'd love to support you on this journey you're on to heal yourself and the world around you. That's all I got for now. I am Brett Michael Phillips signing off. Until next time, please take care and namaste.